and you, dang, Nampa Live has double my my followers. Damn, dude. Hey, today I was in this e-girl stream, and she had like a follow goal of like like 160 or something like that, and she got like 200 and something follows. And the whole okay, when when I was viral with the MS13 girl. I'm afraid of saying that shit out loud. When I got viral with that stream, with that that clip, I got 200 and like uh, 200 and like 50 followers over two days. She got two. Uh, she got 270 followers in one stream. <laughs> Damn, e girls, they're too good. And she has like 4,000 something followers. And she and she just checked it. She was like, "Oh, we almost got five thousand followers. Nice. That was it. I was like, damn. It's like, damn. I'm working so hard. <laughs> He's in China now. Yeah, Jake is number one. Yeah, it is what it is. I can't. I'm not hating on it because it's just like you know, streaming is not a." It's not a game of effort. It's not like anything is not like based on how much effort you put in, right? Because if it was based off of the effort, then some people should be getting some BET awards out here, right? But it's just how you play the game. And it, it just sucks that like, you know, I, I want to do a 24 hour marathon stream or something when I hit a thousand followers. But like, she's like, all right, we we're almost at 5,000 followers for nothing. <laughs> we don't get anything if we hit 5,000 followers. It's just nothing. Damn. Nice. But let's make today a good stream. Let's do some fun shit. Let's make some content. Woo -wee. I'm about halfway there. So maybe like five more, five or six more blocks. Five or six of these kind of, kind of blocks, the long type of blocks. The city blocks. So we're basically going towards historic Filipino town. Historic Filipino town, baby. I guess I could say this when it comes to streaming since I guess a few of you guys are streamers in my chat uh, I worked with a lot of streamers in the past before and we tried to create kind of like uh, activities or we, we, cre we created these events to activate these streamers uh, to help them create content and like also create a kind of uh, community of streamers that they can collab together and stuff like that so we, we, we made all these like events so that these guys could stream right to help them stream in the past this is with my previous company <clears throat> and then so it was there was like kind of mixed results with it like some people really liked the events and it made them you know stream more and it also made them like uh, they were grateful for it right they felt more part of the com community but some of them, when it came to the like, we, we'll, we put like a prize incentive on them uh, to like, you know, they get a prize for winning the event or whatever, right? So when it came down to that, some of the streamers got super butthurt because they felt like they should have won the event over another person. And it's kind of like, it's like a tough situation to decide who the winner is because it's like, like it, the the winner isn't based on how fucking hard you worked. It's how like how good your shit was. <laughs> and hella streamers got butt hurt because of it. So yeah, I thought of that before. Some of them were ungrateful. I think you. Wait, what is it? I think it's about the content and how you connect with people. Yeah, right. It's not so much about like like I feel like some people get super mad about it. Like, oh yeah, she's an e-girl. But, 
Like, it's unfair that she's an e-girl. All you have to do is be an e-girl and you'll get hella people in your stream. Whereas I'm doing all this bullshit. So I think that's like a, that's not a good mindset. Because yeah, I would rather follow an e-girl than me. <laughs> that's just how it is. <laughs> It's what size cups you have. Yo, CeeLo Flow, what's up? Sizzler is in Koreatown? It is. I think we're walking over towards Filipino Town. We're gonna go towards Filipino Town. Let me change my title. So I was thinking about that, right? In the car one time, I was thinking about how streamers were like, they got butt hurt that they lost the events. Or like, they, they felt like they should have won the prize. So I thought about it in my head, right? So if you really think about it, if, we, if shit was based off of effort, in a company you have people who are the lowest of the company, right? And these guys are like, what, janitors or something like that, right? And you have, on the other end, you have like CEOs who are the highest of the company, right? So the difference between these guys, right? is that if you are a CEO, you probably have a lot of knowledge of the company, right? You, you have a lot of knowledge and experience, but you do very little effort. You know, all you do is like sign papers and, and you know, you go into meetings and you make decisions and stuff. I mean, although they are difficult choices to make, the amount of effort that it takes to make the decision is kind of low, right? But on the other hand, these low-level uh, employees, like the janitors and stuff, who are getting paid